I closed my eyes and I grew away into the magic night. I softly sing a silent prayer. Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. You're welcome, everybody, no matter what part of the world you're from. Recording a Mass now for Sunday, June, 2nd of June. And we're uh, doing the Mass for Essential Thursday today, because in Ireland we do the Mass on a Sunday, Essential Thursday. So, uh, as we said, it's the 2nd of June. It'll be the seventh week in ordinary time, but the fact is we're putting in the Ascension Thursday Mass, which is the done thing in Ireland. Now, so the Ascension of the Lord is celebrated today, as I have already said a few times. The Church also calls this World Communication Day. <coughs> we communicate in many ways, as you all know. I started with in dreams. One way we might dream about something, might think, meditate. There's various ways. We'll hear about it later on. So, Jesus left his disciples and sent them out to spread the good news. That's by communicating. And this is our task too, as soldiers of Christ, when you make a confirmation. So we ask for the grace of favour we need and the penitential rite as we gather together to glorify our risen and ascended Lord. So now let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord of mercy. Lord, you forgive us our sins, Christ of mercy. You feed us with your body and blood, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God of mercy and us forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And again, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. And now we're going to give praise to to God, as we recite the Gloria. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. 
We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father of mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Now let us pray. That the risen, the, the risen Christ will lead us to eternal life. God our Father, make us joyful in the ascension of your Son Jesus Christ. May we follow him in the new creation, for his ascension is our glory and our hope. We ask this for Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now be seated for the uh, readings until we come to the Gospel acclamation and the Gospel where we start. First reading. I have different readings I can do today, but I'm going to do it this way. So, first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, and it tells how he was lifted up, Jesus was, and they looked on. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations for forty days. He had summoned, continued to appear to them and to tell them about the kingdom of God when he had been at table with them he had told them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for what the Father had promised it is he has said what you have heard me speak about John baptized with water but you not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know times, dates, that the Father has decided by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but, but, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the end of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up when they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here, looking into the sky? Jesus, who was being taken up from you into heaven, this name Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go before. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The Gospel Acclamation God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. All people, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy, for the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over the earth. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with church of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpets blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God goes up 
with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpets blast. God is the King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns over on his holy name, throne. God gets up with church of joy, the Lord gets up with trumpets blast. Second reading now we're going to do, make sure to do this one, it's from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. We hear where he made uh, him sit at his right hand, the Father in heaven. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what you revealed to bring you to full knowledge of him. May enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope uh, his can hold for you which glorifies he has promised the saints will inherit on her infinitely great the powers that he has exercised for us believers. This you can tell from the strength of his power at work in Christ, his right hand in heaven, far above every sovereignty, authority, power or dominion, domination, or any other name that he can be put all things under his feet, and made him as the ruler of everything, the head of the church, which it is his body, the fullness of him who fills the whole creation, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Shashiki now, the book of the Colin Hanawa, for the Gospel Acclamation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Go make disciples of all nations. I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. Hallelujah! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. As he blesses them, he carried them up to heaven, we hear in this Gospel reading. Jesus said to his disciples, You see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in the same repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses to this. And now I am sending it down to you, what the Father has promised, stay in the city, then until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he took them out as far as the outskirts of Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. Now as he blessed them, he withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. They worshipped him, and they went back to Jerusalem full of joy. And they were continually in the temple, praising God. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Now, Saturn, 2nd of June Mass. It's uh, Ascension, the Feast of the Ascension, the day we celebrate in Ireland. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about communication. And uh, I can make this maybe too simple, or I'm just not going to. I'm going to leave this for about four or five hours. <laughs> no, don't do that. So, in the Ascension, I started off with a, a, a dream. I closed my eyes and I drift away. And that reminds me, if you're thinking about that, uh, it seems very appropriate. To my way of thinking, anyhow. So, the Acts of the Apostles, they were lifted up when they looked on. That would be some dream or some big event in your life, but that happened. Jesus lifted up. Well, so God goes up with shouts of joy, and the Lord goes up 
with trumpet blast. Now everyone clap their hands to God with shouts of joy. So the last hymn of the Mass today I'm going to do uh, something with a bit of a rhythm in it. I'll see what I'll do. The Spirit will guide me. Second reading I took today, we had an option of doing a lot of reading, but he made him sit at the right hand in heaven. That's we all is in the Our Father. Uh, we learn about the right hand. Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father, the Holy the Spirit is here. When you bless it, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. But Jesus does sit at the right hand of God. He's his right hand man. He was a big name without going any further. So how are they told to communicate? Well, I think for me, the gospel acclamation, I don't think it does. Go make disciples of all nations. I'm with you always to the end of time. Praise the Lord. Well, how do you do that? You don't have to sit in your backside. You have to do many daring things. Missionaries years ago in Ireland went out to countries like Africa and preached. And they're still doing it, and maybe we've Africans coming here now, and all that type of thing. But it's our duty as uh, Christians, baptized and confirmed, fully pledged members of the church, to help any way we can in pastoral councils, etc. There's a lot of ways we can mission and spread the communication of Christ. And of course, what he blessed me was carried up to heaven. Now, we're not saying much about the illusion because there are all our different ideas on it, but uh, that's the way he showed it to them. Uh, an apparition, whatever you want to call it. And he is now sending down to you what the Father has promised. He told him to stay with the wearer and to. He said, Edge Scouts, uh, he took them as far as Bethany outside of it and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And then he, he went he withdrew from them. So they were told, uh, very simple, to spread the word of God. And that's how we can do it. We don't grab people by the throat and say, right, you're going to do this, or I'm going to kill you if you don't uh, join us. No. A good example, you would spread the word of God by Christian belief, where you help the poor in society, uh, how you help all those in need, maybe poor in spirit and mind. Help in any way you can. So the worship them when they went back to Jerusalem, full of joy, and gosh, what would that be like? They would continue in the temple praising God. And today we see that going on in the church's adoration of the, the Eucharist is taking part in their various churches. Uh, different ways you can venerate the Eucharist. We're not going to go into it, what the prayers would say or talk to Jesus. If you're in a church or in a house or in an artery. So we have just remembered to communicate. So just don't go over the word today as communicate means communicate. You have to yet spread the word of Christ to people. Keep the faith going. And that's what you will do with the help of God. God bless each and every one of you. And our Nara is a big hug of the Spirit. Amen. Now today, I'm going to affirm our faith. I'm going to have a shot. This is out of the ordinary mass, by veritas, of the Apostles' Creed. But you can do all through Easter season. I want to shout it now. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Virgin Mary, 
conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was the Roman governor, was crucified, died, and was buried. It says here he descended into hell. I don't believe that. He descended into heaven. And on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father, of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Well, now, we know he ascended into hell. There's a bit of a wee problem there, I'm just going to say. Uh, I don't believe he went to hell. He was purged. In the Bible, they don't mention the word purgatory. But they talk about purging now. Uh, Sister Mary Mature, when I was in, in Liverpool, lost her job with the Archbishop of... Uh, uh, Liverpool at the time and she moved into Glasgow and I was in Glasgow next so we're not going to fall out it, it was a place of purging he just didn't go straight to heaven where was he for the three days so he wouldn't have been in hell because he, he wouldn't have got out of it uh, he, he would have but uh, I'm not saying he went to a place where you purge and then he went into heaven so maybe that will tear you up you can read more on it and, and think about it if you like. So now we're going to have the prayers of the faithful. The people who have the faith. With confidence that I bring our prayers before God, He's the Most High. For all Christians, all Christian faiths, that by their lives they pass the good news. Lord hear us, Lord grace to hear us. And for those called to work in missionaries, that they may do the Lord's work in today's world. Lord hear us, Lord grace to hear us. For broadcasters and journalists, and all who work in the media, and their work may advance the cause of truth and justice. Lord hear us. For those preparing for exams over the weekend, that they may have the spirit help according to their needs. Lord, hear us. For people who feel lonely or undervalued, that a friendship may be helped them, how much they are loved. Lord, hear us, how graciously hear us. For our brothers and sisters in the universe who have died, that where Christ has gone, they will soon follow. Just to mention, I'll mention Father Sean Hegarty is a priest. Uh, he used to be Bala Gory, and uh, he retired parish priest. He's about seventy-four, and he's uh, from the John I believe. I didn't know him personally, but I knew the name. May Father Sean Hegarty rest in peace. And all those who have died throughout the world, to the mercy of God, grant them eternity. And just once more, we'll have our own private prayer, but I'll say that my form of communication is mostly by the internet. As our Pope has said, get out among the people. You can't be standing up on, on pulpits and no one listen to you. Some priests have said mass and pubs. Well, you get out among the people, not in a high spire church. The uh, Mass started, or at the Eucharist started, in houses originally, in our Lord's time. So now, let us think of that. Lord, hear us, I greatly hear us. I'd also uh, pray that parishes will get better at putting the webcams up. Some are quite good, some seem to be very careless. Oh Jesus, will you help them to get the webcams up that they're working in all the churches where they're on and also ask them where possible they can record the masses so people can hear them. Like in, in say, uh, Derrick records them, very good, and there's other uh, churches too, but 
we also know in, in Lisnesky and Maguire's Bridge in Little Church. And also in uh, we go over to uh, Galoon Parish, the parish church there. They're very good. Very good priests uh, over there. I don't know why they have them so good. They're lucky. And uh, oh Jesus, Lord, here and convince all parishes. It's a way of communication. Get them to promote their, their webcam that they're working. Lord, hear us, thou grace, and hear us. Lord Most High, great King over the earth, you calm your people in your distress. Hear and grant the prayers you make to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the, the vine of the earth and work of human hands, it will be comfort to bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be the mystery of the water and wine, of course, become to share in the liberty of Christ, and he humbled himself to share in the humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work from human hands, and become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we will accept to you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in the sight of this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, as my sacrifice and yours and accept of God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy church. And now the prayer over the gifts. Lord, receive our offerings as we celebrate the ascension of Christ your Son. May his gifts help us to rise with him to the joys of heaven where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift up to the Lord, you give thanks to the Lord of God, it is right and just. Father, our powerful and ever living God, we do always and everywhere to give you thanks to Jesus Christ our Lord. In his risen body, he plainly showed himself to his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight to claim for us a share in his divine life. And so with all the choirs of ages in heaven we proclaim your glory and grant an ending him of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God, my heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed he comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, and all you have created right to give you praise. But to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you have life to all things to make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice will be offered in your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly, humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, please we grant Make them holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood 
of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate these mysteries. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread and given you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the bread to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave it the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, support out here for many, the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognize the sacrifice victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, and become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May make us an everlasting and eternal gift to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance of your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and glorious martyrs and all the saints, his constant intercession in your presence, we are alive for the unfailing health. Uh, may the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace of the face of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in fate and charity your pilgrim church and earth with your servant, Pope Francis, Patriarch Michael, me, your humble bishop, and all the bishops and order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to impart in brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, and peace to give you. Look not on the sins of the faith of the church, and grace to grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will that lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and especially to the people on the internet, as well as me, a couple of lads here. Any faith, any religion, any belief, any race, any age, peace be with you and with your spirit. And may the mingling of the body and blood bring eternal life to those who are going to receive it. Lamb of God, you take with the sins of the word of merciness. Lamb of God, you take with the sins of the word of merciness. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed, that the body and blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. Amen. I, the Lord, am with you always until the end of the world. Hallelujah. Body of Christ, the body of Christ. Body of Christ, body of Christ, body of Christ. Hail Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide on the wander, the earth below. Thrown on life's search, we claim thy care. Save us from error and from woe, Mother of Christ, Star of the Sea, pray for the sinners, pray for me. Passes the lips of the Spirit, O Lord. We possess an inferior part of what has been. Though there was some time that we were healing for eternity. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. All sing it now. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Father and the secrets, you touch the divine life you give to the world. Help us to follow Christ with love to eternal life for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Bow your heads now for the God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you on this day when his only Son ascended into heaven to prepare a place for you. Amen. After his resurrection, Christ was seen by his disciples when he appears as judge. May ye be pleasing forever in his sight. Amen. You believe that Jesus has taken his seat in majesty at the right hand of his Father. May you have the joy of ex experiencing for he is also with you to the end of time. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. He is 
is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord, every meal shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord. He has risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, thank you very much. Jesus Christ is Lord. Have a good week.